Cash Patel plays a pivotal role in highlighting Michael Cohen's admission to six felonies, particularly the alleged theft involving Donald Trump. Thank you, General. My name is Cash Patel, former National Security Prosecutor, former public defender, and I'm here to tell you after six weeks of unconstitutional trial, we have finally found a crime. Michael Cohen admitted on the witness stand just this morning to six different felonies of stealing Donald Trump's money. After six weeks of trial, we finally have a crime. We also have a victim. That victim is Donald J. Trump. Michael Cohen admitted under oath to structuring transactions illegally and stealing tens of thousands of dollars from Donald Trump. What's even worse from a constitutional perspective is that the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York knew about Cohen's crimes for six years. The Department of Justice with Merrick Garland and Joe Biden knew about Michael Cohen's crime. The District Attorney Alvin Bragg and this man is the island knew about Michael Cohen's crimes and he has been charged with zero of those felonies. The poor case of this unconstitutional circus is the biggest felon in the U.S. history and Michael Cohen is their star witness. It is a total bastardization of due process. I am honored to be here in support of Donald J. Trump. He is being victimized, but we as a country are being victimized even more by the unconstitutional weaponization of justice and the two-tier system of justice that is on full display. I'm proud to be here, and I'm proud to be followed by New York's greatest police commissioner, Bernie Kerry. With a strong emphasis on law and order, integrity and accountability, Patel's comments are seen as a critique of corruption and double standards within the justice system. This resonates deeply with conservative values that prioritize fairness and the rule of law. The public's gaze is drawn to the notion of justice being misapplied or weaponized against politicians like Trump. Patel asserts that U.S. prosecutors and officials were aware of Cohen's crimes, but chose not to prosecute suggesting a systemic bias and injustice. He argues there is a two-tier justice system favoring political insiders while punishing outsiders. Patel's claim that Cohen's confession reveals both the crime and its victim, Trump, is poised to significantly influence public opinion, especially among those who believe Trump has been unfairly treated by the justice system. The impact of Cohen's testimony and his lawyer's attempts to undermine his credibility could sway jurors and public perception. Cohen's history of lies and criminal behavior might lead to widespread skepticism of the prosecution's case, casting doubt on his reliability as a witness.